why get rid of a $2 billion asset that's orbiting Saturn? It's, it's still executing amazing science, why get rid of it? Before we run out of fuel, we have to adhere to what's called planetary protection. This is to make sure that we don't pollute a pristine environment that could harbor life with our own microbes that could be on our spacecraft. thing we want to do is go back to Enceladus in 50 years to land on the surface and discover life, the biggest discovery in the history of mankind, but only to find out five years later after more analysis that it was in fact planted there by us because our dirty spacecraft with Earth microbes impacted Enceladus. And so we want to definitively get rid of the spacecraft and keep all of these environments that are pristine right now pristine. So what are the options? You can hit something, so you can hit a, an icy satellite that's not you know, a high value target from a habitability point of view, with just a big icy rock like Rhea or Iapetus or some of these moons. You can stay in the Saturn system by going to some highly stable orbit and stays there for hundreds and hundreds of years. But we discovered that with one Titan flyby, you can jump the entire ring system yourself into an orbit that actually impacts Saturn. And if it goes well, papers will be written on the scientific discoveries for many, many years. But if it doesn't go well, we've still met our engineering objective, and that's definitively disposing of our spacecraft.